Welcome to the population step, step number two in Forecast Builder. Population is occurring over the time range as specified in step one, and there are many options to choose what to populate, which elements to populate. You can use the check all, that which will select all the elements in all the families, or you can go check public, check p-type, check aviation, or check fire to select all the elements within those families. Or you can select any subset of them by choosing uh, your desired checkboxes. Observations are populated in when and where they're available. So by selecting a time range that's a little bit in the past, it'll automatically populate in observations and then blend to future forecast hours. Remember, to save ISC bandwidth, if the grid to be populated is identical, it'll not be populated. This is by design, Forecast Builder is not broken. So you may see in the population that some of the grids don't appear to be touched or populated. Again, that's by design in order to save ISC bandwidth. So if the grid is identical, Forecast Builder will not populate it. This is again by design, Forecast Builder is not broken. For the public elements, the NBM database is used except for QPF. So for QPF 06, Forecast Builder's QPF population has been adjusted to match the requirements of the collaborative forecast process, or CFP. As of the making of this in 2022 for Central and Western region, Forecast Builder will populate the initial WPC QPF, WPC guide for days one through seven via CRON at 5.45 and 17.45 Z. Then later on at 17.15 and 19.15 Z, the final WPC guide is loaded only where it is changed from the 545, 1745C populations. For MAX-T, MIN-T, and T, we use the deterministic NBM, which is uh, a subset of the guidance that's available within the NBM and uses a different approach than the fully probabilistic NBM, MAX-T, MIN-T, and T. So for a much more in-depth discussion as to the differences between them and why we use one versus the other, there's an optional NBM, MAX-T, MIN-T, and T module you can see. For the P-type elements, actual probabilities of each P-type are populated. And there, again, are other modules within this curriculum that go into much greater depth on the P-type being population from NBM and within Forecast Builder. So these uh, p-types will be often similar to or less than the NBM pop values. In NBM v4.0, these are created behind the scenes from the conditional probability data. And then once NBM v4.1 arrives, we'll use the p-type data as is. For the aviation elements, it's the NBM, except in central region, Conshort is still populated in from Forecast Builder. For fire weather, mixing height, transport when in ventilation comes from the NBM. All the other more derived fire weather elements such as LAL, things like that are calculated in step 10 and you can see the fire weather module there for more information. As always, if you have any questions, nws.forecastbuilder.noaa.gov or you can check us out on the VLAB site. Thank you.